Oh, that's the good shit, man. Holy shit. Uh. Joey, what the fuck are you doing? What is this all white shit on my desk? Are you shitting me? You play hockey and you're doing this? You know you could seriously get in a huge shit for doing this. Look, and no, there's nothing wrong with this white shit. It's just sugar, man. It's not anything, it's sugar. This is not me, okay? Bullshit, that's fucking sugar. That doesn't know we're near fucking sugar. That looks like fucking cocaine, you dumb fuck. I'm rushing, okay? Jeez, like fucking lay off. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I will be talking about if Guinea Coots nets off if you haven't guessed it already and how he was banned for four years by the IAHF for testing positive for cocaine. Holy shit, what a topic this will be today is if Guinea Coots nets off has been banned by IAHF which is just absolutely crazy, which has been a discussion uh, for the entire day today as why and why did they give him a four-year ban? Well, because he did cocaine and it's very strict in IIHF rules that you just don't do cocaine, uh, which is a little ridiculous. I mean, you should not be doing cocaine at all, but four years? Man, they are strict as fuck. And I mean, we've seen it before with a lot of other suspensions. I mean, with the Russians at the Olympics with drug enhancing drugs, they practically just banned the entire country and put that punished. I mean, you could have just banned the players for life, but you decided just to not make them a country. It's just kind of retarded. It's whatever. It's not going to, it's, you're still able to compete. Why don't you just ban all the fucking subjects that were using drug enhancing drugs? But we're not, we're not talking about the Olympics. We're talking about Guinea Kuznetsov. Uh, there's been a lot of question if he's going to be getting suspended in the NHL. And good luck, ladies and gentlemen, he probably won't, depending on how far Gary Bettman will take it, of course. Uh, which I was kind of like thinking, I'm like, will he get like half a year? Will he get the entire year? Or will he just get zero? Uh, Evgeny Kuznetsov has actually been taking steps uh, to get off of cocaine, which is good. He's going into a drug abuse program uh, where they'll test him and monitor, uh, monitor him on uh, see how well he's doing. Uh, so that's a good step for Guinea Kuznetsov. Hopefully he will not be doing cocaine anymore. Uh, and he'll lean off of it, uh, which is a good thing for him. Uh, he's young. He, he will probably learn from his mistake. And, and it's the thing that he needs to do. Now, do I think that he's going to get banned this year from the NHL? Probably not. Uh, I mean, there's been cases with the drug announcing drug, the whole rule. There's not really a strict... Uh, guide on cocaine and stuff like that uh, unless they do of course change the rules maybe for next year but for right now there's not a really strict guide on cocaine marijuana and those drugs areas so i mean he is practically free but i don't feel like he is he might get a couple days of suspension during the start of the regular season i think maybe 10 10 or so games i'm thinking maybe half of the season that is that's really pushing on a beginning kuznetsov but we'll really have to see uh what gary bettman will do because it's all honestly how gary bettman is feeling about Evgeny kuznetsov if he really feels that if is going to follow through with the monitoring and the testing and stuff like that if he's going to go through with all of that we'll really have to see about that later on but for right now, Evgeny Kuznetsov is taking the steps that he needs to uh, become better as a person. And that is not taking drugs and stuff like that, which is a huge person, a uh, big thing for him, a uh, huge step. So hopefully he's on that right track to not doing cocaine because honestly, the Washington Capitals need him at his best. Um, because if they want to win another cup, they need Evgeny Kuznetsov and they can't have him doing this type of shit. And I guess Gary Bettman will be talking with Evgeny Kuznetsov about the whole situation and what the, the consequences will be or if it's just going to just have a little discussion on why he did it or maybe just about him going into this behavioral health program uh, for mandatory evaluation and treatment, which is being said here. Uh, so that's good. Substance abuse and behavioral health program, uh, which will help him a lot. Uh, the CBA doesn't say anything about fines or suspensions for testing positive for recreational drugs, as you guys can see here. I'm reading from a CBC post, uh, so he probably won't be banned. So good luck for a uh, good thing for the Washington Capitals fans, as they will not be losing Evgeny Kuznetsov to any drug-related incident, which is typical of the Russians. So oh, guys are gonna be happy about not losing him. But uh, tell me, guys, what you think in the comment section below? Uh, tell me, guys, if you think you're gonna he's gonna get suspended. Or if the IAHF was too strict on Kuznetsov, tell me guys in the section below. Let your opinions rise up. 
Thank you guys for watching. Uh, make sure also, before I end the video, go check out my links down in the description below. I always forget to say that. Go check out my Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, my Patreon, all the stuff that's down there, baby. Go and check it all out. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys all in the next video. Adios, amigos.